Hi friends, welcome to all. In this video, we are going to see the packet tracer activity configuring dynamic NAT. Coming to the objectives of this packet tracer activity, here we can see configure dynamic NAT and we will verify NAT implementation. We will come to part 2 1 configure dynamic NAT. Configure traffic that will be uh, permitted on R2 configure one statement for ACL1 to permit any address belonging to 172.16.0.0/16 we will create this ACL1 on R2 coming to R2 right here we are going to queue configure terminal here we will create the access list 1 and we are going to permit as the told 172.16.0.0 and here is the wildcard bits they given slash 16 so 0.0.255.255 now we will come to step 2 configure a pool of address for NAT Configure R2 with a NAT pool that uses all four addresses in the 209.165.76.196 slash 30 address space. Right, we will do this configuration on R2. We will come to R2 again. Yes, here we are going to uh, configure the pool. Right, we will give IP. We have a NAT pool and we are going to give a pool name. So here we'll give a NAT pool. Right. Yes, now we have to specify the start, start IP address. So as they mentioned, 209.165.76.196. And here we can see the end IP address that is 209.165.76.199. As they given slash 30, we get a total 4 addresses. And here we can see the network mask. We have to specify network mask. So, yes, we have to give that uh, 255.255.255.252. Here we can see, uh, notice in the topology, there are three network ranges that would be translated based on the ACL created. What will happen if more than two devices attempt to access the internet? Yes, uh, the additional devices uh, would be denied access until one of the previous transactions timed out, freeing up an address to use. Now we will come to uh, step 3. Associate ACL1 with the NAT pool. Well, uh, now we will come to uh, R2. Yes. Here we will give IP NAT inside source here we are going to give the number that is one and we have to uh, specify the pool name that is uh, uh, NAT pool now we will come to step 4 configure the NAT interfaces configure R2 interfaces with the appropriate inside and outside NAT commands Yes, here we can see uh, on R2, this is serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 is uh, uh, outside and uh, this is serial 0 slash 0 slash 1 and this is NAT inside. Now we will come to this configuration on R2. First of all, we will go to the interface serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 and uh, this is uh, IP NAT outside. Then we will go to the interface uh, serial uh, 0 slash 0 slash 1 and uh, this is uh, IP NAT inside. Now we will come to part 2 verify NAT implementation in that uh, step 1 access services across the internet 
from the web browser of EL1, PC1 or PC2 access the web page uh, for server 1 right we will uh, do this uh, uh, verification on NAT right now first of all we will get the IP address of this server so here we can get IP config yes here is the IP address of this server I'm going to copy that first of all we will come to uh, L1 we'll go to a browser here we are going to access that server yes we are getting welcome to server 1 now we will verify from PC1 browser here we are going to get the IP address yes now we will move to PC2 we are waiting for the web page here we can see request timed out now we will go to step 2 uh, view NAT translations view the NAT translations on R2 show IP NAT translations right we will come to R2 here we are going to give that enable show IP NAT translations yes here we can see that two IP addresses yes this is the uh, inside global here we can see the inside local IP address here we can see two addresses 172.16.11.1 so two times I have given so that is by 11.11 .11, uh, sorry 11.1 here we can see the another IP address uh, that is the IP address of this PC1 that is 172.16.10.1 and here we can see the two IP addresses are used uh, here we can see that is 197 yes and 198 yes here we can see uh, from the NAT pool uh, they have taken uh, one IP address for this uh, system L1 and another IP address uh, for PC1 and uh, there was no uh, other address for PC2 that's why we didn't get this uh, uh, web page uh, into this uh, PC2 yes that's all here we can see the completion status 100 out of 100 uh, so uh, this spike tracer activity uh, that is configuring dynamic NAT uh, is quite simple friends uh, if you have any doubt uh, please comment below also if you like my channel you can subscribe right now so that you will get latest uploading video info into your gmail thank you